Hello everybody, this is your second stimulus check update, second stimulus package update, and news report for November 16th. Happy Monday everybody, I hope you're all having a great day. Now there's a lot of news in regards to our second stimulus check, and the result of the 2020 election. Our American politicians like President Trump, Chuck Schumer, and even Speaker Pelosi are all pushing for a second stimulus check to be approved. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer called on Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to work with Democrats on a bigger stimulus package. Schumer said during a press conference on Sunday, he's the one holding it up. Meanwhile, Speaker Pelosi is doing her part in urging Republicans to acknowledge a crisis. She said at a press conference, I urge Republicans to acknowledge a crisis and come to the table to work on COVID relief. As you can see, almost everybody in Congress wants to get a stimulus deal approved. However, both parties continue to disagree on the total price tag of our stimulus bill. Now before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and get this video to 1000 likes. Remember that on this channel, I always provide you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check information. So be sure to subscribe. But first, let's take a look at what Andrew Cuomo said about Trump's plan to withhold a vaccine from New York. Now leave a comment down below, do you support Andrew Cuomo and do you think that he's doing a good job in governing New York? Leave your comments down below. In regards to our second stimulus check, Fox Business reports that Shu refers to Mitch McConnell as Dr. No on COVID relief package negotiations. Chuck Schumer called on Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to work with Democrats on a COVID-19 relief package. He's who's holding it all up, Schumer said during a press conference on Sunday. The Republican Senate refuses to move forward on any kind of COVID bill that has any kind of relief for the American people. And now with even President Trump saying we need a big bill, we are urging McConnell to re-examine his position and work in a bipartisan way with Democrats and support the kind of COVID bill that meets the needs of New York and the needs of the American people. Schumer blasted his Republican colleague, arguing the Kentucky lawmaker has become the Dr. No of stimulus negotiations. The bottom line is very simple. We need a large, strong COVID bill to deal with our problems, Schumer noted. We've heard for months, every time we get close to a deal, Senator McConnell says no. He has become the Dr. No of COVID, just like he has been the Dr. No of all the bills in the Senate over the last several years. In addition, Schumer said McConnell and other Republicans in Congress need to come to terms with President-elect Joe Biden's victory over President Trump and spend less time trying to delegitimize the election results and more time working with the colleagues across the aisle on stimulus. Joe Biden campaigned strong on COVID relief. He won. That's what the American people want, not just here in New York, but across the country. Schumer said, so we need it. He explained that aid for state and local governments, renters who face eviction from their homes, small businesses, restaurants, and independent venues can be provided through the Heroes Act if Republicans simply compromise and put a Democrat's $2.2 trillion proposal on the Senate floor for a vote. Fox Business goes on to say that Mitch McConnell has pushed back against Democrats' proposal with a counteroffer of a $500 billion targeted bill, which included money for schools, liability protection for businesses, a boost in unemployment benefits, and an additional round of funding for the Paycheck Protection Program. With that being said, 
I hope all of you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and give this video a like. Let's get this video to 1000 likes to show Congress that we need more stimulus checks. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a great day.